Greetings everybody and welcome to the very first video here on Planet Arthropoda. So I thought it'd be fun to give a quick review on a basic insect collection kit you can get on Amazon. So let's dive right in. I will be reviewing the NASCO collection and mounting kit which I will of course link to below in the video description if you are interested in picking one up for yourself. I'll go through all the pieces that are included with the kit that you can see spread out here before us. I'll go through them one by one, my thoughts on them, and then at the end I'll say whether or not I think this is a good deal for the money. Okay, so to begin with, this kit does cost $63.95 on Amazon, and while that does sound maybe a little bit expensive just off the bat, if you start to break it down piece by piece, it does seem like a pretty good deal. Starting off with, you can see right here, you do get this net, and if you price similar nets on Amazon, the net alone is probably going to run you about $30 for a good one. So you can see right there, that's about half the price of the kit with the net included. The net is 12 inch diameter here. It is telescoping, so you can unscrew it in the middle and go in and out. I usually just keep mine extended though for ease of use. And right off the bat, it does seem like it's well made. Only time will tell, of course, if the net starts to fray or anything like that once you start using it heavily especially if you start banging it into bushes and reeds and stuff like that. Next up, you do get a bag of 100 insect pins, and I will point out real quick, sort of an odd shipping decision, but when you open these, they are oriented, so the sharp point is pointed where your fingers are going to reach in there and grab them, so that's sort of curious why they did that. Of course, you can just pour these out so you don't risk hurting yourself when you uh, get these on your pinning board. You do also get a basic insect pinning block, which is great for getting all of your insects oriented just how you like them, if you get a little OCD about that stuff. Personally, I sort of just eyeball this most of the time, but I know some of you probably like to have everything exact. You do also have some basic categorization labels where you found the insect name, date, all that fun stuff, and of course a fine tip marker. Personally, I like to just print out small labels myself so I can pick the font and make, you know, smaller fonts because this is a pretty large label. It's not very practical to keep these on the inside of your collection box, so I like to print my own labels, but these are included in the kit. You do have some field collection envelopes. I believe there's a hundred in there. The kit also does come with this nice observation container, which you can see is gridded on the bottom. Each of those grids is a quarter of an inch, so you can quickly see how large the insect is once it's crawling around in there. It also has a magnifying surface on the top, so you can observe the insect closely and safely. Next up, we do have a small jar of ethyl acetate, which is a killing agent commonly found in nail polish remover. I went ahead and put mine in a plastic Ziploc bag just to keep it nice and airtight and safe. And of course you do use the killing agent in the two supplied killing jars, which that's another nice feature because if you start pricing these by themselves, they're usually about $10 a piece for a decent sized one. And the way this one works, you unscrew the top. There is another vent right there with a cotton ball on the inside so you soak the cotton ball reseal everything up and then I think it recommends a couple millimeters of killing agent on that cotton ball to quickly kill the insect once it's placed inside the jar. One quick thing I would point out that I wish the kit came with and again the kits very decent for the price you know it seems like a good bang for your buck I do wish it came with a basic eyedropper because I feel like that's a much easier way to get the killing agent into the killing jar versus, you know, just sort of upending it and eyeballing it. So if you do go with this kit, I would definitely recommend grabbing a separate eyedropper for that. With the kit, you do also get a basic pair of insect forceps. You get a beginner's guide on how to collect insects, you know, tips on pinning, where to find them, etc. And lastly, of course, you do get a pinning and preparation slash spreading board right here, which is just basic styrofoam. And while it does seem like a basic piece, it is certainly a lifesaver because this one actually has five different widths and depths 
on the styrofoam so you can put your larger bodied insects here on the left and they just get smaller as you go down. You can see I have a few things pinned here from an excursion yesterday. So this is something you could certainly make for yourself at home, but I think you'll probably find it's sort of a pain. It's easy to get the width, but the depth is sort of a pain to get that even. So having a good preparation board is definitely golden if you're planning on doing an insect collection. And here at the end, my general thoughts on the kit as a whole. I definitely think it's worth the $64 considering what you get, like I mentioned before, the net alone, that's usually gonna run you at least half of that for a good quality one. If you do plan on getting into insect collecting and keeping insects like that for observation, study, research, etc., I think this is definitely a good bang for your buck. All right, everyone, that will do it for this first video here on Planet Arthropoda. If this is your first time stopping by, please consider subscribing if you found the video useful. Comment below on if you plan on getting into insect collecting and maybe checking out this kit, and please give the video a like. And help me grow the channel by sharing it with your friends and family on social media. I will, of course, put a link to this specific kit down in the description below where you can pick it up on Amazon. Enjoy your weekend, and I will see you in the field.